If you started stocking up food and found a bit of a disaster on your hands, we're going to help you with a quick fix to make managing your food easier. Welcome back to the Cuffside Clan. If you're new here, we are on a journey to improve our food management routine so we stop wasting time and money on food. One of the things we quickly realized on this journey is that there are far more shiny objects than we ever could have imagined. Yes, our goal here is to stay focused, work on this one thing, and actually achieve some results before we move on to something else. But unfortunately, things in real life are not often linear or as simple as we would like. For example, deciding to work on our food management system turned up some issues. Things like the fact that the places where we store our food are currently a disaster. When you don't have a meal plan, it's hard to grocery shop for a month worth of groceries. While we're working on not wasting time and money on food, that doesn't always mean we're going to be saving time in the kitchen. So today is all about addressing that first issue in a quick way. Not with a long-term solution, but with a temporary solution that will get us by until we can tackle this head-on. So this is our furnace room where we store some food. Some of it looks okay because it used to have <laughs> some rhyme or reason to it. It's also um, kind of a disaster. And as you can see here on the floor, it's really difficult to get to everything. So one of the things that we're also dealing with is that we don't really have as much space to store our food as we want. We have a whole bunch of craft stuff over here. We've got kitchen appliance type stuff over here. So then we have some dry goods, bottles and whatnot. Again, it looks like maybe one day there was some rhyme or reason to this, but it's been lost. <laughs> And over here we have our bulk food items and then back here we also have some more buckets. As you can see there's a lot of empty, empty, ready to be used with to deal with some of the bags that we have around everywhere. We also kind of have a very disorganized storage of our herbs. Um, I've got plans for this one someday, not today. Next we have these amazing barrels that we got to store some of our grains. The problem is that this is my parents' space. They're in Michigan right now, so they're not using it. So we're temporarily using it for storage, but they're coming back soon. So we need to do something about this. And then in here we have some of the grains that need to get stored, along with some fall decorations and Christmas stuff that needs to still get put into storage. Lastly, we have this disaster of a garage, which we're gonna ignore all of it except for the freezers. And we're not gonna do any major organizing. We have this freezer, we have this freezer, and we have this freezer. And the problem? is that we need to make a lot of space. <laughs> I'm not seeing a lot of space. There's some space! Ta -da! <laughs> oh! That's, this is, that's the one that still needs to be cleaned. But it was fine, it was just left open? I, I don't know. Like, it feels good right now. I'm just, I'm testing it right now. Like, okay. And this is the one that's broken. No, this is no, fine. That, that, this, this is the one that I think was... Oh. And then there's one over there, but I don't think I can get to that. <laughs> this, is, this is the workout station. <laughs> can you tell? Oh, babe, I love you, but man, oh man, you have created a beast. <laughs> Look out. It's okay. Body. There is hope. Okay. This is going to be fun. <laughs> we got about 15 weeks worth of stuff to do. I am really happy that we're tackling this with a get it done, quick and easy solution because... Otherwise this could take weeks. Okay, here's the deal. We have two hours to deal with this situation and we're going to do our best to get everything done that we need to in that two hours. Probably wondering why just two hours to take care of that disaster. A, because we don't want to fall too far off track of our main focus. B, because we have a lot of other things going on. Asher's birthday is tomorrow, and this is all the amount of time that we had to devote to it this week. And C, on Tuesday morning, we have a pig coming. And then in the afternoon, we're picking up another load of grain. So I'm kind of concerned about that whole freezer thing. I was hoping that I was going to look at the freezers and be, be like, like, yeah, no problem. problem. She told me while she was heading to the bathroom, <laughs> I have a solution! <laughs> Let's buy another buy freezer. A freezer. <laughs> 
here is our plan. Here's the plan. Number one, we're gonna pull out all of the craft supplies from the storage room to make more space for food down there and to make it so that we can actually walk through there. Yeah. We're not gonna deal with this right away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load it up in the van and we're gonna take it to storage. Number two, we're going to deal with the space over in my parents' area, we call that the West Wing. That's going to entail pulling everything out of the closet, getting the barrels put in there, as many, I think we're we can fit five. I'm hoping we can fit five, because the plan is to try and fit three in the furnace room somehow. So deal with that situation. Number three, we're gonna do a quick tidy of the food in the furnace room. This isn't going to be any sort of a big deal. I more just need to get my head wrapped around some of our green stuff so that I can know what to get. order accordingly and make sure that we do have enough buckets and whatnot to store some. Number four, we have a quick little experimentation project that I would love to do if we have time. I am highly doubtful that we're gonna have time, but we'll see. Um, we have some five mil Mylar bags and some seven mil Mylar bags. And we need to test those out to see which ones we want so that I can order more of whichever one we prefer. And then number five, we are going to deal with the freezer situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kind of spend the next hour and a half racking my brain on what we're gonna do about that. It sounds like a lot. Do you really think we can do it in two hours? I have no idea. I can do it in two hours, but you? We're gonna do our best. This is where I need to not be in charge. I will, I'm going to loosely manage this, but you're in charge of just keeping things moving forward, because that's what you're good at. <laughs> Okay, so just to confirm, we've got one goal in mind here, and it's simple, and we need to keep this front of mind. Goal is to be able to get in and out of the furnace room easily, and completely have access to all the food that's in there, so that my poor daughter can take a food inventory and not have to climb over 800 things to get to something. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing a total organization and overall the entire space in the future, not today. All right, I think that the best way to make this happen is we need all hands on deck. I think we need to get the littles occupied. Maybe we can get them some trains to play with. Maybe something, 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 mag formers. Uh, and we need our older kids to jump in and help. So, you ready? Let's go. Has not exactly made it the car somehow we pulled all of this out of that little tiny spot in that furnace room well and the closet in the office as I mentioned there wasn't a lot of organizing that went on but oh that's more cane sugar though that's good to know it's at least visible all the craft stuff came off those two shelves and that space there and we were able to pull some stuff up off the floor. Here, all of the bags that were in here got pulled out for now. Again, we're not going for organization, we're just going for access. And now I can see how many barrel or buckets I've got. I can have Harbor take an inventory of this stuff here. All right, so in here, it looks like we just got one bag of each type of bean, so I think we're going to do the, some stock on that. We've got our grains here. And then what we did 
is we've got our barrels set up in here. We could only fit four, which I'm really bummed about, but I suppose it leaves room for access. And then I've got our oats. And then we've got sugar and then popcorn over there. And we've got, looks like an open, but we've got our other barrel and rice right there. So for now, we're gonna call that good. It gives us the ability to do an inventory and that's all that we needed for now. Um, the problem is that we are one hour and 45 minutes in. We've got 15 minutes left and we haven't touched the freezers and we have that disaster that I just showed you of all the stuff that needs to get taken into storage. Well, this disaster behind us is about five hours worth of work and we're gonna try to cram it into 15 minutes. <laughs> I think we can fit about 85% of that stuff in the car. If I can get Harbor, Grayson, Asher, and Linden to run me stuff and I can strategically place it in the van. Then there's the whole taking it to storage and unloading it and sorting it when we get the storage unit, which that's going to happen sometime between 9 p.m. and 4.30 a.m. in the next few days. I think we're good. At least, like, we've accomplished our goal. You we can, can walk get through the furniture room. room. It feels so much better. You can see everything that's there. That was the goal, and I feel so much better about that. So, and it puts us in such a better place when it comes time to really organize that. It put just it puts us in so much of a better place to get moving with that project. So, you're gonna do this. I'm gonna look for a freezer, and I'm gonna get our call set up that starts at ten in seven minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, so we ran out of time. We hit our two hours. We had a call that we had to go hop on. Yep. And we kind of pushed off the um, bringing everything up from the table and putting it in the van. And then we didn't get to the... Labeling. No, we didn't get to the freezers. Freezers. But thankfully, we have enough margin in our day that I'm going to go work on labeling projects around the house and Kevin and the kids are going to load up the van. We're going to skip lunch and our walk so we can get it done. No, you're going to do it before lunch and we're going to do still do lunch and our walk. Right. I'm talking about the unload. Yeah! No. Yeah! We'll deal with that later. <laughs> All right, ready to say go. <laughs> It's, it's Sunday. It's, it's two day. days. It's two days later, and we did not touch the freezers the other day, and the van still needs to be unloaded. So this is why I am so thankful that we have margin in our life and that we can deal with a little bit of overflow, and it doesn't throw us too far off track. Here's the thing. One of the things that I realized is that what we did in the furnace room was... Our number one goal is to make sure that everything is accessible and that we can easily see what we have. Not that it's perfectly organized, but that we have a good idea, a good understanding of what we have. Yeah. And right now with the freezers the way that they are, we cannot achieve that. And so it's going to take a little bit more time. It doesn't have to be perfectly put back, but I just want... We Some normally cold. have a f beef freezer, a pork and lamb freezer, a chicken freezer, but and then... Chicken only pork only yeah and right now it's like pork and beans and yeah it's just a mess right now and so we're gonna just kind of go through and hopefully come across some stuff that we can get rid of or eat or something <laughs> right feed to the dogs I don't so, know yet so we'll figure it out along the way behind door number one this is the one that's not in terrible condition but this is all still a bunch of a mess and the door's a mess and freezer number two this is probably the best of the worst the so I'm thinking, like, keep all the chicken, yeah. just bring out that. That stuff, yeah. See, like, and then, some like, anything that's not chicken, bring out. And then this is the pork freezer that has tea, beef, cow tongue, pizza, butter, 
fish and berries and so stuff. So for this one, I say bring out everything. Like, don't you can keep the bacon in? I think that this needs to get redone. Some. So, but the goal should be to fit the pork in there. So that should just have. I think the pork should go in that one. I think that one's actually got more space than this one. I'm going to disagree. I think everything should come out except for the bacon and tenderloin. the pork tenderloin and that we should make the pork fit in there. And then over here, you can leave all of the new beef that's in here. New beef. And then just bring out all of the other beef. And the salmon. And the fish. fish and anything else that's not new beef. Rock and roll. So you don't have to bring everything out. That's not that bad. It's going to be a... Have you cleaned that one freezer? I started to, but it's not finished. Okay. So, and then let's bring all of the things out of these three guys over here. I know we have some space here. This is supposed to be the fish seafood yep. freezer. And so... This stuff's gonna make it move. Just, get, just bring that all out and I'll organize it on the tables inside. Awesome. And then... Yeah. You have not touched this! It's not true, I took stuff out of it. You liar! I said I, I, took stuff out. I, said I started it. Where? It's a cable Oops. inside. Okay, wait. Could we yes, and then all this stuff can come in. Pizza and yes. the sauce and yes. stuff? Yes. yes. All right, we're gonna work on this and touch base in a little bit. We've talked about when our beef came, there's bad processors. Your beef packaging should not do this. This is not good vacuum sealing. I, and half the labels are not on, so I have no real clue what this is. I know what it is, but. <laughs> Yes, it is. All right, so we have most of the freezers emptied out, cleaned out. I have a pile of food here. This is mostly meat and cauliflower pizza and butter and tacos and, and, and. Then we have more meat here. And then we have kind of some other random stuff here. Fish, berries. Dessert stuff. We do not have a lot of frozen vegetables. I don't like frozen vegetables, so that's okay. We've got a bag full of nuts, almond flour, tortillas. We've got a Zayden sausage. Okay, and then out here. So we have our pork freezer here. So this right here, my goal is to keep empty. So we've got shelf one, shelf two, and some door space. Baking can go right up there. More pork tenderloin can go down there. And then we've got like sausages and whatnot here. So if we can leave that open for the pig, I think we'll be good. Then we have our chicken freezer, which we've got a whole empty shelf, which I would love to keep it that way because our chicken supply is low. We've got plenty of breasts, but our whole chicken, I mean, that's like a week and a half worth of meals there so that's not doing all that hot and then we have our beef freezer I've got all that beef that needs to get organized and I've got lots of space to do it here but that supply of ground beef is not all that great and so our goal is to oh and we have some more fish out here and steak but our goal is to get another half of a cow sooner rather than later so that we're not so low on ground beef because we ran out last time Kevin's cleaning the last freezer and then we've got these two guys empty we're not sure if this one's working properly so I'm gonna put nuts in there this guy we're gonna use for what did I just say? Butter. We're, well, butter, but then also for stock, bones, and carcasses, and whatnot. Beef stuff. So, no, not just, no. Beef, Beef and stuff. chicken. Stock stuff. And then we've got this one over here, which I'm going to do a little bit of organizing in. And I think I'll probably keep the berries over here. Maybe we'll make this 
It's supposed to be Mimi and Papa's, but we might just have to steal it. Sorry, Mimi and Papa. Okay, we have our quick fix. How long do you think it take? It took two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Yep. Not too awful. No, so, tired. um, this is not a permanent fix. I didn't even. I grabbed a couple things that I saw that were extra old, and we got rid of those. But mainly, I just put beef in this freezer. So we've got some. We've got beef in this freezer, and we have, I think, enough space to where we could easily bring on another half. Probably. And fit it in here next. I think we're talking Probably about like in an, a month June. and a half or so. Yeah. So that should be an easy fix. We have room for more chicken. Yay! My hope is to fill that all up with whole chickens. So we're going to need a containment device of some sort. Maybe. I don't know. Mm, probably just one of those Costco boxes. Something like that. And then we have... Not enough bacon! Enough room for the pork! Oh, we can fit I have no idea what you had going on in these freezers because I have no, am dumbfounded at how much space there is, babe. I want one of these! That's how I roll. And yeah. then just put stuff here. We have just put stuff here. Come here. Yeah. All right, we've got strawberries, blueberries, mixed berries, and then you there's our that, little bit you of. Took that ice cream. Yeah. Did it need to get thrown away? We're gonna use these. No, there's some out there. Over here, we have no light. Pizza, almond flour tortillas, nuts, nuts. So look, I've got almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews. Peanuts. Walnuts. Walnuts. The one thing I do not have is pecans. <sighs> okay. And so what I'll probably do is move the almond flour and put the pecans... Somewhere. Above the peanuts. Next we have... Butter. Time Room two. for another stack of butter. Or if we need to, we can take these out and put probably three boxes of butter. Nice. If they're just sacked. We don't, we don't have nearly enough we have butter. Soup bones and just like bones, chicken broth feet, stuff. broth Peanut, stuff. Peanuts. This peanuts is this is dog treats, bird treats. Nice. And then we have fish. Fish. So we got salmon, mahi mahi, cod, shrimp. Freezer There's meal. a freezer meal. And I guess you stuck the scallops over here. And I also put our one little thing of frozen frozen veggies that we have. Nice. I've mentioned a few times that I don't like frozen veggies. I want to try it with the peppers. And this is all Dad's doing. <laughs> Dad, can I have my own smoothie? Yes, you may. Go to the kitchen. So our two-hour quick quick fix to the furnace room has turned into like more of like a six-hour six quick fix. Eight-hour because I'm gonna deal with the van here in just a minute. Yeah. So, or you can do that tomorrow. Whatever. Um, the. Again, one of the importances of having margin in your life, and children that can nothing help. like nothing is a perfect solution right now. But it's gonna feel like when we go to actually organize this and inventory it well, it's gonna be so much easier and so much less stressful. You lied to them. Why? I'm a perfect solution. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>